Good morning, everybody. Lee Brower here, and welcome to this week's edition of Meaningful Monday. I am glad to be here, and I am grateful to be here. And, you know, you're looking at an original painting by Peter Tunney. I'll explain that in a minute, but I've received a couple of calls recently from clients, and actually where they've texted me photographs, where they've seen gratitude on big billboards, billboards around, around New York City that spell out gratitude in a single line like that. And um, they were so impressed with it that they thought I would like to see them. So they sent me copies and I took a picture of this and sent this back to them because it's the same artist that has done both. And I had the opportunity about five or six years ago. I, you know, for the last several years, I've been working with an amazing man by the name of uh, Michael Rouse, who is one of the founders of uh, ESF, which is one of the most prestigious and uh, amazing companies that work with, with kids, teenagers. Uh, some of them, you know, the largest day camp in the world, I think, but also working with teenagers that are coming out of the projects and really making a difference. And what I enjoyed working there with Peter Tunney, who is the artist, and I think he has a studio right across from the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York. I really enjoyed the way that he worked with kids because his role was to let them get their hands dirty, give them different, like you can see newspapers behind here, you can see different things, give them different media to work with. And he had an ability to walk around with every student that was there and find their talent, find out what they were doing good and elevate them up through gratitude. And so really this is when the two T's in there, what does that spell? An attitude of gratitude. So you see attitude is part of gratitude. And he had that attitude of gratitude as he worked with these young ones. And, and so this has been very meaningful to me to be able to see this. And this was a great gift that was given to me. And as you learn about gratitude, as you practice gratitude, using the empowered wealth mindset to be able to move up through social gratitude and appreciative gratitude to where ultimately we can be at that highest level of gratitude where we just live with an attitude and we're grateful no matter what. We're grateful in all circumstances. What a wonderful thing. And I thought about how he elevates these young kids and then it dawned on me that isn't gratitude really an elevator? I mean, really, it's an elevator that lifts all of us. It lifts everybody around you. It's probably the most powerful elevator on the planet. It's ability to lift the most difficult of things. It can lift me right out of self-pity. It can lift you out of self-pity. It can lift me out of what I perceive some of the toughest and overwhelming challenges in the world. It can lift you right up out of those and put you to where you see opportunities and learning and love and sharing. And so what an amazing elevator it is, and it's an attractant, so it lifts you up, but it also lifts you out. And it also then is able to take those that are, everybody that you attract. So with, a, with an elevator, you attract greater opportunities. You attract greater, not that they weren't there before, but you see them. Greater relationships, not that they weren't there before, but you see them. So you, gratitude is an elevator and you can keep that elevator with you wherever you go. So my challenge to you this week, develop that attitude of gratitude. Ask yourself, how can I elevate gratitude today in my life and in the life of someone else? How can I elevate gratitude today in my life and in the life of someone else? If you'll do that, I predict you'll have an amazing, attracting attitude of gratitude week. I'll talk to you next Monday. Bye-bye.